In this second lesson, we are going to expand on lesson one and start speaking about um, UVs and transforms, 2D transforms. Um, just quickly, so we'll be using GLSL version 3.3 .3 and above, which have a similar syntax, which is quite different from the older 1.2. So let's um, let's create another top to connect as an input, and let's go back to the wiki for the second example. So sampling inputs. So by default, it's just going to uh, recreate what you get in the first input. So this texture function takes two arguments. The first one is the variable name of the uh, sampler, the texture we want to sample. And the second is a vector 2, which defines the coordinate you're sampling at. So the first shader reward um, the code executed on every pixel was the same because none of the part of the code was different for any of the uh, for any of the pixel but is this one in this one so the buv.st is different from for every pixel and we can visualize uh, what is what it is So the double dash is a comment, so this line doesn't get compiled or executed. So if I write frac color equal... So yeah, another thing is that uh, in GLSL, we don't care about indentation, contrary to Python, but we care a lot about uh, comma at the end of the, of the line. So if you write frac color equal vec4 buv.st1 and 1, uh, no, let's do 0 and 1. Uh, yeah, so I forgot the line ending. So we get this nice gradient, and if we check. Uh, a row and so the first color is going to be uh, at S so you can see it goes from 0 to 1 from left to right and if we check the column so we're going to start from the bottom and sample in the middle and check the green so you can see it also goes from 0 to 1 from um, bottom to top so now playing with this coordinate it's easy to um, do some translate reproducing some of the transform top option so if I add a vector so everything gets translated to the left because we are sampling uh, point one to the right so if I create a uniform a vector 2 called translate Here I add translate. So we haven't defined it yet in the interface, so by default it's going to be zero. And now I can play with these parameters. So 
So here we can go to um, detail some of the options on the GSL tab. You can see the input extend. So this is what happens when it's sampling outside of the 0, 1 range. So 0, you're going to get a 0 for RGB net A. If we use all, then it's going to stretch the border value. Repeat is just going to loop and mirror, it's going to mirror. But for now, let this, let's stick with zero. So, <clears throat> where does this um, STD to the inputs zero comes from? Because we haven't defined this anywhere, so this is um, supplied by touch designer to make our life easier and so you get this array so uh, zero is going to be the first input one is going to be the second input and two is going to be the third input so right now i'm going to connect a ramp to the second input and i'm going to put back the transform to zero and here now I'm sampling the second input so we can really simply create an addition operator um, so I'm going to create an in, some intermediate variable let's do a vec4 uh, called input1 which is going to sample the first input and then a big 4 for input 2 which is uh, so first input is 0 sampling the second input and now we're just going to say the result is input 1 plus input 2 so you see it's the addition of the two and it's really easy to create like um, a few more uniforms to have more control so instead of just translate let's do translate 1 translate 2 and we can also create um, like a blend value much like the cross operator in touch so I'm going to call this so this is going to be just a single value so we're going to use a float and call it blend so we're going to sample the first one with translate 1 the second one with translate 2 and the formula is going to be blend times input 1 1 minus blend times input 2 and now we need to define all this so translate 1 translate 2 uh, we want 0, 0 for now and blend so blend at 0, 5 we get exactly half of each zero we get uh, only the second input one we get only the first input and then we can also translate uh, each layer individually and that's it for our second lesson